Hi guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 things I do when I need to get my life back together, which I've been feeling a lot lately. I've been in a rut. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, I have been talking about it and I am sharing with you 10 things I do if I'm feeling off or if I'm just trying to kind of get back into a good, healthy routine and feeling like myself, you know? Um, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I post a lot of lifestyle vlogs. Clothes, products, food, recipes, books, all of it, okay? It's all here. Subscribe. Also, thank you to Seed for sponsoring today's video. First thing that I do, and this is the number one thing. I don't know if this is like a personality thing with me where I bottle things up or I don't shut up. Like, I, there's no in between there. But I love journaling. If I start off my day journaling, it helps me so much. If you struggle with anxiety, it is like a game changer just starting off in the morning by journaling is really helpful i know they have like journal cards if you're not really someone who typically journals and you like don't know what to write i like doing morning pages where i just wake up and i write out like three pages full of whatever is in my head i don't want the pen leave the paper and it gets out every single like anxious thought doubt unhealthy thought out of my head it also helps me to identify what's even bothering me to begin with but it basically gets out everything that i need out of my head in order to start my day with a clean sleep the second thing is i take a probiotic my mom is super into gut health so i have been hearing about probiotics for so long and she's been so on me about how I needed to start taking them. I started taking Seed months ago actually on my own accord, having nothing to do with the brand. I wasn't working with them. I bought it with my own money. I think I used Brooks code and I love it. I love anything that is really good for me and is also really easy to add into my routine. It also benefits things past just your digestive system. So it's a 24 strain broad spectrum probiotic and prebiotic formulated for digestive, gut immune and additional systemic benefits. Also with a lot of probiotics, the live strains don't even make it to the colon because they die before. With seed, they have like a two-in-one capsule delivery. And this just protects against stomach acid, digestive enzymes, and bile salts for viability through digestion. It's also sustainably delivered monthly. You can have a subscription. I mean, it is so nice just having something show up at my door and I'm making my mom very proud. So anyways, this is just super easy to add into your routine. It's really good for you. Seed is a brand that you can actually trust. But know that what you're buying is actually like scientifically backed and it's actually even making it into your colon in the first place. A lot of probiotic things are just like iffy. So if you also want to make my mother proud, you guys can go online. You guys can get 15% off your first month supply of Seeds Daily Symbiotic by using code Kinsey15 at checkout. Okay, the next thing I do is I go and exercise. This probably sounds annoying to you guys. Again, as someone with anxiety, it helps me so much. Like last night, I was so anxious and I went to Pilates and I didn't want to go and I ended up having the best class and feeling so good after like you never regret working out and a lot of the time when i'm in a funk and in my head and i don't want to do anything and i'm just like feeling blah a workout really can fix that it helps a lot i like hot pilates or i'll go on like a walk i think i'm gonna go back to like some spin classes too here and there but i just love working out well i love working out but i don't always love going to work out you know what i mean surprise surprise the next one is reading i have noticed recently that the one thing I really changed, I started watching Netflix at night because I'm hooked on Friday Night Lights. For the past probably like year and a half, I will lay in bed at night and read for like an hour at least before I go to bed. On my Kindle, of course. Um, and I kind of stopped doing that and I would just fall asleep when I was watching Netflix. And I don't know because I don't meditate. And someone once told me that me reading that long every night is kind of like a meditation. And that's what I like to tell myself, okay? And if it isn't true, please don't tell me. I don't care. Anyways, it calms me down so much and I sleep so much better. I also like to read like nonfiction in the morning when I wake up. I woke up this morning, journaled, I read, and it really just gets my mindset right for the day. Declutter, I cannot stand clutter. I did this yesterday. I went through my closet and I was like, there's too much stuff here. The second I have too many things, I just like, ugh, I don't like it. Um, so I'll declutter, I'll go close to my friends or I'll donate a lot of them to like a woman's shelter as well. Yeah, that just is something that really helps me and I just feel like a lot more put together. Another thing is plan something to look forward to. This could be anything from a girl's trip to a meal you're going to cook at home. Romanticize your life. Make it fun. Even if you're not leaving town and you're just in your like mundane routine, plan a walk with a friend. Plan a new recipe you're going to try. A new book. Join our virtual book club. Make some friends. Information's on the highlight on my Instagram. But I think you just have to like plan things you look forward to. 
And I think the day-to-day -day small things are actually even more important than planning a big like girls trip to Nashville or whatever it is. Even a new book or a new show you're watching or whatever it is. Just like make things more fun than they just could be. Next thing, go on walks. I have to do this all the time because I have dogs. Um, but going on a walk can really clear my head and it helps me get out of just like the anxiety ball that my house can become when I'm working from home all the time and getting out and getting fresh air, like 10 out of 10. The next thing is cooking. Cooking helps me so much. It's also really good because your hands are busy so you can't be on your phone, so you can't be on social media. Like what is it, doom scrolling, whatever it is. It's also like a new hobby and you're also taking care of yourself. Something about it makes me feel so accomplished after two. I don't even necessarily know if it's like the actual like health benefits as much as it is like I feel good and I feel proud of myself. The next thing is therapy. I have therapy this afternoon actually. This is something that I know is not like the most accessible and not everyone can do it, but if you have the means to go to therapy, go to therapy. It is so helpful. I keep waiting for my therapist to tell me that we can go on like a bi-weekly situation. She hasn't done that. I don't, I don't know when she will. It's been like literally a year and a half, so. Okay, we guys posted on that one. Next thing is find new hobbies constantly. I think for whatever reason, we have this idea that like you can only have hobbies as a kid and you can't get them as adults or we don't have time for that or whatever and like you have time for what you want to make time for one two having hobbies makes me better at my job because i have a life outside of my job and it makes me like more interesting and also just like refreshes me refuels me whatever okay i love horseback riding there is nothing that brings me more peace than riding horses but it also just like spices up your life like it is so easy to let life get really mundane and do the same things every single day and there's always ways you can spice it up i feel like it's a lot of the small things that is my list of things that i do whenever i'm like in a funk or honestly i'm just so unmotivated and i just don't feel like myself i'm currently doing these things to feel better it doesn't always happen overnight that's the thing sometimes it does and then when it doesn't i'm like going on you know anyways that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys haven't already be sure to check out all of my vlogs let me know if you guys like a good old sit down video love you guys so much and i will talk to you soon bye well i think the first thing is recognizing that it is really scary to be alone especially when you're going through like a trauma or grief or you know after a breakup or something but I think if you can, you can kind of reframe it as an opportunity to grow and to just under, kind of understand things better.